What is up gang? Welcome back to more It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We had a great start to season 10. Hopefully Dennis can recover and become a five-star man once again after the last episode, which was phenomenal. Loved seeing so many instances of pure rage out of him because that's when he's at his peak in my opinion. But hoping for some more good times with these episodes. If you enjoy watching along with me for this one, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel grow. And of course you can check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below and you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me there but you can also get early access to the youtube edits there too if you would like but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into episode three so you just painted your butt blue and nobody noticed the hole in your pants yeah it worked it worked oh, what's this psycho killer Can Can save. Save. What an incredible intro for one ridiculous conversation. Always love seeing Charlie sing, though. That's the way to start a day. We got news, too. And it's all tied in with the song, so it makes sense. What's the news? Psycho P! Psycho P's back in town! Wait. Dude, Psycho Pete, the one from high school. Dude, we never got to see him in the reunion episode. I'm nervous. So, hey, we're getting the freight train back together, right? Freight train! <laughs> No, man, this sounds way too dangerous. The discussions they had about him during that episode, the reunion one, terrified me. I'm very excited to see who they cast to play Psycho Pete, though. I don't think he could outdo Dennis in that episode. They unscrambled his brain, and he's, like, good now. Yeah, they sorted him out. You cannot sort out a man who kills and eats mm. other human mm. beings. The hospital said he's fine, so he's fine. The man did the time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're so convinced. I think Dennis has something here. There is no way we're having that psychotic mutant anywhere near our bar. Excuse me, I'm talking to my friends here, so. Charlie, seriously, keep that psycho killer away from us. Charlie. Oh, dude, that's Psycho Pete right there, isn't it? He looks so unassuming. Peter. Here, Ronald. Oh, dude, you look gnarly. What happened to your hair? You used to have all the hair. It's just genetics. Oh, genetics, oh, psycho. <laughs> These guys are crazy. They were just insulting him behind his back. He heard the whole thing. And ride it. Woo! Woo! Be the caboose. Turn the music down just, just a bit. I got huh? it. Huh? Remember, like, you used to go right up to babies, just scream in their faces? I don't feel good about that stuff. <laughs> Wow, man, Psycho Pete actually did change after all. That sounds so messed up, though. This guy sucks now. Like, I don't like him at all. No, he's like not psycho at all. Mild manner, Pete. I'm like, boring, Pete. I got a plan. Because they mess with their brains up there, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're gonna try and bring the psycho back out. Poor guy's gonna get ruined. I didn't mean to call psychotic people mutants. It's cool. You know, oh, oh you know, we had the, uh, oh, jeez, oh, and that's right go. now. <laughs> so awkward man they had to get out of there fast i can understand after what they were saying the main problem with people going to these state-run loony bins is the separation between church and state you spend most of your time talking to a therapist instead of a priest the priest is going to let you off the hook for all the things that you've done <laughs> That's such a wild opinion to have about things. I love when Mac gets on his high horse. I'm not gonna talk to a therapist who's gonna make me deal with it. Here's our guy. Cricket looks like he's turned to the dark side. Man's dressed like a Sith out here. Fan of the opera thing, or what's the story? Take it off. We want to talk Pop to you. Pop it off. We're talking conversation. Holy he could get worse we finally see the aftermath of that other episode why would we want you at thanksgiving Dinner? especially looking like that this oh. happened at your apartment guys can we just focus how do you just not focus? follow yeah I look cricket we need something from you yeah, brush your beer yeah okay fine i'll help you <laughs> no matter what they do to him cricket always comes back ready to help we need you to hear our friend's confession and then absolve him of his sins i don't even suck him or anything or let him inside me why would i want you to no Dude, that's it. Here's the confession. All right. <laughs> he always takes it to the highest degree. I can't blame him, though, after everything the gang's done to him. And I guess the burnt face does go along with the Sith look that I was saying before. I'm sure he must have escaped, right? I don't like loony biz. This is giving me a really bad feeling. These places, they're a necessary evil. Let's just get Pete back into the system. That's right. There's a system in place for everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why do they want to get him back? He seems perfectly fine now to me. And this place looks abandoned for decades. Reed Mental Institution was shut down because of statewide cutbacks. So they just cut all the loonies loose? What? How could they do that? That's that's insane. Oh, so is that why Pete got out? Frank's gonna have some bad flashbacks being here though. We're gonna have to shut down more of these places. What? Shut down more of these? We gotta have somewhere to send our lunatics. Then we're going to have to pay more in taxes. What? I'm not paying more in taxes, D. I won't do it. Don't speak of it again. <laughs> Great dialogue, I love that. Getting down to the real issues. <laughs> I love that editing. I'm worried what's gonna happen to Frank. He absolutely broke down the last time his mind went here. Oh, I remember. <laughs> Is that the person he was talking about with the green face? Are we gonna actually meet him? What are you babbling about? This is the Nitwood school I was Shanghai to when I was a kid. You had your mommy tell them to tell you that you didn't have donkey brains. I knew I didn't have donkey brains. <laughs> He's got a certificate now to prove it. I believe him. I love that we're diving back into this though. One time we escaped, chased us down with those big nets they used to catch dogs. Did you grow up in a cartoon? Froggy can't be in a world out there. <laughs> I love that. That's Dee's response. I mean, with his stories, it is pretty crazy. Please tell me we get to meet Froggy. Come on, I pay so much money in taxes already. Where's that going? They use that money to open up the Eagles new practice facility. That makes sense. That's kind of a no brainer. We can't have our guys out there twisted ankles. <laughs> I love how they just accept it so easily. Priorities all out of whack. Is there something weighing on your mind, my son? Wh what? <laughs> who, who is that? They're gonna do the confession in the bathroom. This is amazing. And they do have that thing they built to look through. Is that a glory hole? Yes. It'll cost you a whole sixer if you want to unburden yourself in that way. I'm open to it. Just absolve the man and let's go. What's going on in here? <laughs> Their cover's blown. I love how they're talking like he can't hear them. He used to gather like cats and dogs oh. and then put them into like a little room and like have them battle it out. Cats and dogs nature to fight. <laughs> This is wild. I feel like the way Cricket's on board, he could be the new Psycho Pete. Is this Psycho Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not absolving him. He should be in jail. Hey, guys. Pete? Is that you? Uh, hey, man. I'm gonna get out of here, okay? Oh, I feel so bad for this guy. On one hand, though, he did do all of those things at one point, but he looks like he's really changed. He's straight up possessed by the devil. Okay, you lost me. He used to be fun crazy. Devil was like, I like this dude. I'm gonna get involved. Then the meds get thrown on top. They shut everybody down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even Charlie can't follow that. Such a ridiculous proposal or theory. Well, That's where I come, come right out of here and be like, let's do an exorcism. I, I can't that, lead with the confusing. exorcism. We'll get the demon and we'll get the goblin yeah. out. Not, not a goblin. Oh, we should get them all out. Get the demon, the goblin, the ghoul. <laughs> The big three right there. I love it. This is going to be such an insane scene if they actually go through with it. Well, they're all made up. Yeah. So. That's why he burned your face, yeah, you son yeah. of a... I'm getting hot. I'm getting yeah, too hot. Let's just oh go God. get the exorcism right, going. Yeah. Let's get you like a hat. <laughs> Dude, they did good on Cricket's makeup. Gotta give him credit there. Looks very convincing. Just let me handle this, okay? I'll act crazy and then he'll prescribe them to me. Your bad acting will only confuse him and it will infuriate me. <laughs> I like that that's the second part of it. Dennis just doesn't want to get upset. I got it. Hello, thank you for waiting. Do you have some sort of donkey brain database? No. Just search for any half man, half amphibious creature. <laughs> I feel like if there is someone like that out there, somebody's got to have it in a database. Years ago, I tried to burn my college roommates down to the box springs. I have a hankering to do it again. Dr. Zimmerman! Excuse me? <laughs> what is happening? I freaking love that accent, though. That's actually one of D's better. They're going way off script. I swear you would be of more use to me if I skinned you and turned your skin into a lampshade. Or fashioned you into a piece of high-end luggage. I can even add you to my collection. <laughs> collection? Whoa! He's not even acting right there. Another word, and I swear to God, I will dice you into a million little pieces and put those pieces in a box. A glass box <laughs> that I will display <laughs> on my mantle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, Dennis has reached a new level of insanity. He's gonna be the one that gets prescribed. Don't you recognize me? Yes. What did you do with him? Hmm. The frog kid. 
Doc! I gotta find him! Love Frank's performance, man. He's doing so good. You are Froggy. You are the Frog Kid. <laughs> the editing, man. This is amazing. I didn't expect this kind of a twist. But the lines of reality became blurred. <laughs> The donkey brain edit. Oh my gosh. Frank was messed up, man. I, uh, I see that. I remember that now. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm having an episode again, Frank, aren't you? Catch the little frog. Put that down. <laughs> We're back to the big nets. This is amazing. Frank always getting himself into trouble. Holy water. We got that. Yeah, we got all this stuff. We're just gonna like bum rush this guy from behind or what? Whoa, 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 guys. No one is taking me from behind, right? Unless you have crack. If you have crack, let's boogie. <laughs> crack, it's so hilarious, dude. After all he's been through, he somehow kept his personality. Talk a bunch of Latin. I'll fake it. What do you mean you'll fake it? You know how many times I fake on the streets? Guys that don't fake, they're the ones that get it the worst. Anything we can do to have you not talk about, like, sucking penises. Keeps you... popping up. <laughs> Charlie's dialogue. Oh my gosh, he has fallen so dang far. Cricket, that is. The man asked me a few questions. Next thing I know, I'm walking out the door with meds for borderline personality disorder. You see, that's how you get done. Dude. No, no, that's how you get diagnosed. <laughs> Finally, we're making some progress with Dennis. It's about time he gets the help he needs. If he has another episode, he kills us. He's a murderer. Uh, dude, dude, dude. No, I'm not. That's just what a murderer would say. It's just a rumor people started about me. What? Man, I guess it makes sense. He doesn't seem like someone who'd murder somebody. Why'd you get sent to a mental institution? Social anxiety disorder mixed with depression. Really more of a danger to myself. Oof. Oh gosh, this took such a sad, dark turn, man. I feel for the guy. The gang is not a good group for him to be around. Well, we could help you cope with it. Uh... Or... Hmm? <laughs> they just sent him away. I love that cat, man. What a brilliant shot of them dancing. I want to thank you guys so much for trying to help me. So you can chit chat for the hobos you yeah. got. Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah. All right, you guys want to go pop by the new Eagles facility? <laughs> See where their tax dollars are going. Oh, that's amazing. I quite like Psycho Pete, though. He's a nice guy. George, good luck. Enjoy Philadelphia. Yeah. They're going to take great care of you here. Yeah, rain, rain, buzzing. Oh, All right, get yeah. on out of here. Well, that takes care of that. Problem solved. Let's get out of here. Wait a second, bro. So is that supposed to be the real Frogman right there. He was just saying green and buzzy. I'm not exactly sure what I can take from that besides that. They called him George, but I don't remember any George. That was a very entertaining episode, though. Loved getting to dive back into Frank's history and realizing that Dennis truly is a psychopath. I'm such a big fan of the way that the show does setups and payoffs because it was the end of season seven that we got first introduced to Psycho go Pete his name and was it season eight or maybe it was nine that we first discovered Frank's history with Reed Mental Institution. So finally, a couple seasons later, we get payoffs for both of those storylines. And so I like that they have the patience to wait and make it a lot more satisfying when it finally does get brought up and it couldn't have been done better. It was so hilarious watching that all play out. Also very sad to see Psycho Pete's true reality and the way that he'd been messed up by the rumors so hopefully he can recover and maybe we'll see him again maybe not but even despite his and Frank's struggles throughout their lives I feel like nobody is worse off right now than Cricket the man keeps sinking lower than before I don't know what else they can do to his character other than just maybe losing a limb at some point because he looks so terrible He's about ready to complete his transformation into Darth Vader the way he's all burnt up and wearing hoods along the street and whatnot. So we'll see whenever he pops up again. But I love that the actions in the Thanksgiving episode actually had very 
real consequences for at least cricket i don't know if anyone else that was stuck in that room was burnt but I wouldn't be surprised. And so I hope you all enjoyed watching along with me for this episode. If you did, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel grow. And of course, you can check out the full length reaction on my Patreon link for that in the description below. But until the next episode, look forward to seeing you all later. Peace.